Welcome back to the Morning Latte. It's 11.09 a.m. And of course, we continue to celebrate as we're slowly crossing over into the new year. So our game changer of the day is a great, gracious Matim. And you know what? He's a young man who is excelling in the music industry. Today, we're going to be talking to him about his journey in the music industry and what his new year resolutions are also. And if he has any or if he believes in them. But the question still remains, are you ready for the new year and what are you doing to prepare yourself for the new year i remember last uh week we were having a conversation with uh apostle rodney chipoera and he was saying that you know what in with the new and out with the old so the question is what are you leaving that you don't need what sort of baggage are you carrying with you that you're not going to cross over with in the new year you still have a few hours to make that decision and actually it's almost a full day yes it's a full day to make that decision so please go ahead and start making a change if you need to leave your friends if if there are certain habits that you need to leave start thinking about it but welcome Greg how are you doing thank you so much hi how are you doing can't complain really that's good that's good <laughs> how do you feel it's it's the 30th tomorrow is the 31st we're getting into the new year how do you feel about that yeah, 2019 has been active. Mm. No lie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've been fought uh, left, right, back, mm. and center, but mm. here we are, you yes. know. You remember when people said, ah, by 20, I uh, like not December, I feel like we did $50, $100. <laughs> but here we are still surviving. We so are. I feel like. 19 has been giving us the kick but it has we are. you know what's interesting i always say this i think um zimbabweans for me are the true heroes in I my know, book right it's because we survive we survive so, always and right. you know we're fighters we adapt we survive mm. and we're the true heroes so you know <laughs> what a thumbs up to everyone and a glass to you all because you deserve it that's you, deserve why, it. you know that's why these other countries they don't want us eh? because they know that once we get the opportunity <laughs> We, we work, work, man. We, we work. work. Exactly. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Greg. Oh, okay. So I know it's broad. Like it's like an interview and you ask <laughs> me a little bit about yourself. You don't know where to start, but we're talking about, yeah. you know, your I mean your life in the music industry. That's good. Mm. Okay. So basically I never grew up singing. Right. Now, I'm not gonna be like one of these people that say, eh, I started to sing the day I was born. When no, I was like three no, or something. No, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Mm. I think got up to form four. Without, really? Yeah, without singing whatsoever. Uh -huh. So, you know, this other friend of mine, you know, there was an a cappella, I think, uh, auditions and stuff at the school. Uh -huh. And my other friend, you know, was so pushy. She was like, ah, go, go. You know, sometimes your creation may be like, you yes, know. Yes, and yes. I go, go and audition. I'm like, okay, this is kind of working out, you know, sing all those whatever, all the cappella songs. So then after form four, when I was waiting for my result, that's mm. when I started to learn the guitar. Bit oh, nice. by bit, bit by bit. Then after form six, I was like, varsity, mm, no, College of Music, here we come. Right, right, so, right. So, yeah, from the College of Music, started to link up with all these other people. Because it was like a black American gospel group. Right. So, you know, started to meet all these people from different groups mm. in Zimbabwe, you know, started to link up. Mm. They started to show me the other side of music. I'm like, nice. this is making sense. Interesting. So, let's do this. Okay, so, yeah. uh, who taught you the guitar? Uh, there's a guy called, he's a pastor actually, called Pastor Wallace Tafirenika. Right. Shout out to him. Um, without him, I don't think I'll be playing the guitar. Oh, wow. And then the rest, you know, you just pick up from people that you meet. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I like my ear that much. You know, okay. you just, just see something, then yes. you try to project it on the guitar. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit. I mean, uh, talking, you talking about the College of Music is quite yeah. interesting. Yeah. Do you believe that, I mean, if you're a young person and you're trying to break through the music industry, yeah. going to school for it is an added advantage? Okay, so there are two ways to it. Mm. You know, we've got people that have made it right. without going to school right. because they've got a talent. Right. But now, you know, with the competition that is there now, mm -hmm. you know, you need to know your things. Right. So if you've got talent, mm -hmm. you need to go to school. Nice. Same thing with Messi. Yes. Messi is gifted, but he trains very hard. Right. So you need to go to school. You need to go to school advantage. from that. Yeah. Okay. And then what happened, you know, after you go to the, you know, uh, music of school, yeah. uh, the school of music and music of school. It's okay. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, the school of music. Yeah. Um, and then uh, what, what then happened after that? How were you able to sort of break through the, the music industry? I know mm. you're still very yeah. young and yeah. you're still blossoming. Yeah, what, what sort of challenges and successes have you had so far? 
you know there are people that know that you are a threat to mm. them mm -hmm. so even some someone might be popular and right. be like please can you give me a hand mm -hmm. but because they realize your potential they block the doors for you it's like right. the sabotage right i know three huge shows right that i was supposed to perform it mm -hmm. and this was supposed to be one of my you know, but you know because of these people fearing you know competition mm, and mm. you being a threat to them right sabotaged me and i'm like okay so they sabotage then there's finances as well because mm. i also run a band called right. power to play right you know i uh, shout out to power to play uh it's yeah. crazy it's crazy yeah. i tell you yeah because finances if you don't have finances mm. you need money to pay for the essence if, if you don't have your what you call your instruments as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. so it's crazy it's crazy time. So finances, sabotage, and even and just, more. So yeah. you know what is interesting? You're talking about sabotage. Do you believe that, I mean, the music industry supports young people? And let's not even talk about the music industry, yeah. but I mean, in terms of even the government, the policymakers supporting the music industry, do you believe ah. that we are there yet in Zimbabwe or where it's still a process? I wouldn't say we are there, there yet, mm. but we are getting there. For example, shout out to, is it uh, Zimura or Zimura? Zimura, yeah. Zimura, the one that mm -hmm. uh, protects your yes, music and copyright, stuff. Yes, copyright, exactly. That's the starting point. Yes. You know, because I never knew the whole package to that until I got my license. I'm like, okay, so you guys can actually do this. Yeah, yeah. So it's a starting point. Mm. Of course, there's a lot of piracy. I, I mean, if we could protect the music of the upcoming musicians, right. the way they do it outside the country, we'll get somewhere. But yes. Pirates is really killing people. It's, it's, it's real and it's there. Yeah. And I mean, what do you think should be done about piracy? <laughs> yeah, like there's a funny uh, theory or uh, what you call it, assumption, I don't know. Uh -huh. That Michael Jackson had this, um, this kind of a software that was uh, installed on the CDs. Right. So we ever tried to, whatever, mess around with the CDs mm. that would get the virus. Really? I don't know how that works. Ah, but I, interesting. I, I you you think it's, it's something possible. that should be done. You know, we've got engineers here. Yeah. What are we doing? Exactly. You know? Yeah, no, that's that's one great solution. <laughs> and of course, uh, you, you know, you're you're talking about you're being you're very excited yeah. to to get into twenty twenty. Uh, what are your resolutions as a young person? Twenty nineteen, I was supposed to actually, you know, like get all these crazy airplanes, but because of you know, like the economy shifted and yeah, it kind of yeah. messed me up. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that really messed up my career as well, mm. kind of. You mm. know, the only performance that I got were the live performances. That yes. was the, but in terms of airplanes and stuff, that was kind of messed because you guys need your CDs, you need yeah, your, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. your covers yeah. being done neatly, so presentable stuff. Mm. So I kind of waited. I'm like 2020, mm -hmm. I want to come with a band. Nice. I tell you, nice. I tell you that. Nice, that's, that's that. fantastic and we can't wait for that. I promise you. Um, and I know that before we, we round off with our game changer of the day, you're going to be performing something for us. And, I? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the minute you have a guitar with you, then you're in trouble uh -oh. in the studio. <laughs> you're definitely in trouble. What are oh, you yeah. going to perform for us? So, uh, for the past uh, weekends and Sundays, I've been doing weddings, right? Right. So, I think, I mean, that season and that uh, moment of love. Nice. So, I'm going to do something from Boys to Men called Can You Stand the Rain? Ooh. Yeah, I wanted to do my song, but then I'm like, ah, it will kind of kill the vibe. So. <laughs> <laughs> but why would it kill the vibe? Because. But you, you know yourself. So yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so yeah. we're going to have something from Greg, Gracious yeah. Mad Tim, a yeah. cover from Boys to Men. Boys to men, can you stand the rain? Can you stand the rain? Nice. Okay. Take it away. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hey, on a perfect day, yeah, I know that I can count on you. Oh, oh, oh. when that's not possible. Uh, can you weather the storm? Oh, 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 cause I need somebody who will stand by me through the good times, the bad times. She will always, always be right there. Sunny days, everybody likes them. Tell me, can you stand the rain? Mm. Storms will 
come This we know for sure But tell me, can you stay the rain? I love the spices mm. You love unconditional I'm not asking you for this Oh Got to make it last I'll do whatever needs to be done Cause I need somebody who will stand by me Through the good times, the bad times She will always, always be right there Sunny days, everybody likes them Tell me, can you stay the rain? Oh baby, storms will come This we know for sure But tell me, can you stay the rain? Tell me, can you stay the rain? Oh, talking about i actually didn't know that song you know? <laughs> i caught on pretty quick but that was great gracious yeah. but tim everybody yeah. so if people want to get in touch with you you're talking yeah. about live performances and yeah. events and weddings Ladies, where can they yeah. go all right uh so my business mm -hmm. app calling number yeah. is uh zero seven seven eight two two three five seven two i'll say that again mm -hmm. zero seven seven eight two two three five seven two then for mm -hmm. the performances as a band because we are family yeah graduated from the band thing yeah uh it's powered to play nice powered to play so band. they can find you on social media instagram youtube i'm oh, sorry no youtube yet instagram facebook and uh Oh, fantastic. Instagram and Facebook, yeah. you can get in touch with them. Yeah. And if you want them to perform live at your event, your yeah. Aurora, your weddings, your birthday day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thank you so much uh, for coming so through. Much. And we wish you all the best in 2020. So and we do much. hope that your resolutions will definitely come true. We'll start with this place. Right? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> all right, so cross yeah. over with us on www.hstv.co.za. As of course we give you more great content as we are slowly crossing over into the new year. Good morning. You're listening to Hardest Soul Radio Station. 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 Station.